Today is Friday, January 16, 2015. Authorities in Europe have been gunned to round up suspected terrorists. I'm Taylor Becker. And I'm Tori King. Over 10 years ago, the European Union sent a probe to Mars and never heard from it. Now they've found it. Your CSO News starts now. As European investigators move to sweep suspected radicals, Belgian police said on Friday that 13 people have been detained in Belgium and two in France after a shootout in which two, uh, two men believed to be militants were killed. Officials also said authorities had conducted re uh, searches at dozens of locations where police had found four weapons normally used by the military, including an AK-47 assault rifles. The arrests come hours after a gun battle in eastern Belgium. Officials from Paris and Berlin also announced a series of arrests and interrogations. The missing Mars robot Beagle 2 has been found on the surface of the red planet and appears intact. High resolution images taken of the orbit have identified its landing location and it looks to be in one piece. The UK led probe tried to make a soft touchdown on Christmas Day 2003 using parachutes and airbags, but no radio contact has ever been made with the probe. Many scientists assumed it had been destroyed in high velocity impact. The new pictures hint at what really happened. The European mission Beagles designed and incorporated a series of deployable solar panels which appeared to fail successfully to deploy, robbing the rover of the power needed to contact Earth. A pair of giant kangaroos that died about 45,000 years ago had their DNA extracted from scientists at the University of Adelaide in Australia. A giant short-faced kangaroo and a short wallaby, a giant wallaby, excuse me, were the sample donators. They were found in a cave in Tasmania, and thanks to the cold, dry conditions there, short pieces of DNA were able to be retrieved from the remains. The material shed some new light on the ancient huge creatures. The short-faced kangaroo weighed about 260 pounds, and the giant wallaby weighed more than 240 pounds. It turns out they did not hop, but walked to get where they wanted to be. We'll be right back after this. Are you interested in putting your skills to the test or looking for something to put on your resume? Skills USA might be for you. If you're a part of broadcasting, construction, photography, welding, or one of the many other programs at any of the schools, consider joining us. Skills USA has a vast reach in areas to compete in, so odds are there's something for you. If you're interested, see Mr. Allen at Columbia, Mr. Babcock at Nampa, or Mr. Miller at Skyview. So come on down and see what it's all about. You'll be glad that you did. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a great one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today is high is 39 with a low of 25 with rain and snow. Tomorrow's high is 38 with a low of 35 with rain and snow. Today is the final deadline to purchase slash reserve your copy of this year's awesome yearbook. Don't miss out. A $35 deposit will hold a copy for you and you may pay the remaining $35 at any time until they arrive in May. Today and Saturday, the NHS booster will, Boosters will be supporting a red out for the American Heart Association during the girls' and boys' basketball games. There will be a red out Rock the Beat t-shirt for sale at $5 in the Pro Shop this week. Saturday, we will be honoring our new Hall of Fame interestees, the Boys Game Sports Med Club students. We are working on concessions for the girls' basketball game tonight, starting at 4 p.m. Please see Opal if you can help from 4 to 6.30 or from 6.30 to 9. Also, first aid kit order forms and money will be due now. Seniors, your personal quotes for your book are due by next Friday. So start thinking about the wisdom you want to be published next to your tux and drape photos forever. Instructions on how to submit your quote will be given to the senior, to all senior in English and government teachers beginning this Friday. So start thinking about it now. Interested in building technical skills? Boise Code Camp will be held March 21st at the BSU Student Union Building. Choose sessions which include web, desktop, mobile development, robotics, program management, managing your technical business, and more. Register on Eventbrite to reserve your spot to make sure they have enough space, food, and supplies for the campers. Winter Golf starts Wednesday from 3.30 to 5 in the green room and runs Monday and Wednesday until February 19th. See your coach, Loft Miller, if you have any questions. God, you want to start? There? Also remember, there is no school Friday. Uh, not from Friday, I mean Monday, due to Martin Luther King Day. Enjoy your three-day weekend. Today's SAT word of the day is decipher, a verb that means to decide, to reveal, to unfold. You could use it this way. The loops flourish. She put on many of their letters, made it very difficult for people to know her handwriting well to decipher it. 
That's the news. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on the Bulldog Edition.